Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel and an extension, I suppose one could say, of yesterday's top stories into today because it didn't take but just mere hours for the mainstream legacy media who is part of the establishment uniparty. If you guys aren't familiar with why I refer to these groups of individuals who are counter Trump or Trump detractors as the uniparty, as the deep state, as we call them, and, or the cabal, as Molly Ball so haughtily outlined. We're going to cover that today here on the Buzzweaver channel. If you are new here, you may not be familiar with the mantra that we have here on the Buzzweaver channel, and that is that the Democrats, working alongside the mainstream media, tech giants, activists, and special interests, all work together to get people to hate Donald Trump as much as they do. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, your mainstream media and activists could not be more excited, could not be more ecstatic that he is back. Orange Man Bad 2.0 is about to launch. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to demonstrate to you, for those who aren't entirely clear, because what we do here on the Buzzweaver channel, ladies and gentlemen, is I take the difficult, I take the complicated, I take the chaos, I take the tumult, and I make it as simple as possible so everyone can see, and I use very simple examples, as I'm going to do now. It will seem a bit redundant, I know, and that is because you are witnessing the echo chambers of the deep state, the cabal, the establishment uniparty, working with the mainstream legacy media. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started, or from NPR, as I like to call them, non-pro-Republican, Donald Trump, who tried to overturn Biden's legitimate election, launches 2024 bid. What about Trump's duly elected win in 2016? I don't see any articles on the duly elected president from 2016 outside of uh, Hillary Clinton suggesting that it was Russian collusion, which we have learned many times over, was a fabricated story. Domenico, this is an opinion piece. Yet NPR does not indicate this is an opinion piece. I know it's an opinion piece because I read it. It is an opinion piece. I looked for the word opinion to show you guys that it's an opinion, and I did not see it. It is an opinion. Shameful on NPR's part. From the Washington Post, Trump, who as president fomented an insurrection, says he is running again. Well, what about the NBC News reports that indicated that Trump was not involved, was, was not indicted in his second impeachment on fomenting an insurrection. Where, where is that? Where, where is the story from NPR, as we, as we just quoted, that said that the FBI found no coordinated effort? Where, where's that? I don't, I don't see that anywhere. Speaking of NBC, Donald Trump, twice impeached and under FBI investigation, launches 2024 White House bid. Yeah, twice impeached because the second time you guys at CNBC and NBC said that President Trump was acquitted. He was acquitted of any involvement. What, 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 so why continue with the language? Oh, we already know. We already know, guys. I'm being a bit uh, facetious and uh, rhetorical. Trump seeks White House again, aimed GOP losses, legal probes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. U.S. News, Trump seeks White House again, aimed GOP losses, legal probes. My goodness. Insider. Donald Trump announces 2024 presidential run aimed legal woes. Oh, the language is changing a bit. Al Jazeera, Donald Trump launches 2024 presidential run. Former U.S. duly elected president announces White House campaign aimed legal probes and an underwhelming showing for Republicans in the midterms. Yeah, they just took the House of Representatives. That's all. And nearly won the Senate. But other than that, oh my gosh, they barely did a thing. Barely. Yahoo News, Trump, Donald Trump's announcements, 2024 presidential run aimed legal woes. The Times of Israel, Trump announces 2024 White House run aimed midterm setbacks, legal peril. Oh boy, the language is changing quite creatively. I mean, they don't want to sound repetitive, do they? From Bloomberg, Donald Trump is set to announce third presidential run despite GOP turmoil. Oh, boy, they're getting fancier with their words. Now, far be it from me to uh, suggest or imply that uh, these individuals don't know how to use our language or words. But nonetheless, 
Former presidential, former president expected to announce he's running again. How about former duly elected president? Republicans urged Trump to hold off until after Georgia runoff. Now, this is a bit of an older story, but you're following the pattern here. From Tampa Bay Times, Tampa, or Tampa, Trump running for president again in 2024 aimed dipping popularity legal probes. Oh, my goodness. That is that sounds pretty pretty ominous, guys. I don't know. I mean, maybe Trump should just go ahead and just announce that he's announced like today that he's not going to run. That he's, he's he's changed his mind because clearly the mainstream media has the tempo. They have the temperature of the nation, the country. They know that something can't be right with Donald Trump. <clears throat> From Detroit news, local news, as they say here, Trump seeks what. Duly elected former president Donald Trump seeks White House again aim GOP losses, legal probes. Former president Donald Trump is running for president again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you why. From our good friend Benny Johnson, who quoted from the duly elected president Donald Trump from 2016, we will dismantle the deep state and restore government by the people. To further drain the swamp, I will push for a constitutional amendment to oppose term limits on members of Congress. And there you have it, as I said, Buzz Weaver here on the Buzz Weaver channel. To all of my astute, shrewd, sober, common sense thinking followers all across social media, YouTube, DTube, Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, thank you guys for all your continued support. And that's why we need Trump. Chastise his characteristics, brashness, and bombastic nature. But he terrifies the establishment Una party. Now, I hope I have been able to demonstrate what I mean by the extraordinary level, the extraordinary measures, the echo chambers, the efforts, the concentration, the focus on Donald J. Trump, the duly elected president in 2016, where these individuals, the mainstream media, the tech giants, activists, Trump detractors of all sorts, of all colors, of all stripes, have now spent six years trying to convince people to hate Donald Trump. And for two of those years, these people who claim to be focused on disinformation and misinformation and getting things right, allowed for, perpetrated, propped up, and continued to talk about a fabricated Russian collusion story for two years. Now, we have we are essentially two years away, I guess you could say, just for rounding things off, before President Trump would then go, of course, for our presidential election here in America. But these same people who perceive themselves as being astute, who perceive themselves as being knowledgeable and aware of things that are going on, cannot recognize their current president's struggle with cognitive decline. If you haven't already, when you go to my main channel, the Buzzweaver channel, or any of my Buzzweaver channels across social media, and go to the main channel, you will see, at least by now, I think I have over 60, maybe more, of the particular characteristics of Joe Biden, the establishment-appointed vote-by-mail surrogate president, struggling, and I don't post this to denigrate the man or be derisive or condescending or cruel towards Joe Biden. I am simply illustrating to these detractors, to everyone who questions Donald Trump, who spoke for nearly an hour with little to no issues in his speech, in his cadence, in his enunciation, in his pronunciation, in his collection of thought and his focus and his articulation. But if you go to my channel, you will see as I demonstrate all of the challenges that Joe Biden has to struggle with to simply just say a few sentences. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your continued support here on the channel. As we continue to outline what's going to happen in the next two years, perhaps many of these videos will be set to limited ads, unfortunately. So your likes, your shares, your comments will all play a pivotal role in illustrating to people that we can talk about these issues like we can on Twitter, 
but yet we still can't on YouTube. What a shame. What a pity. So thank you guys for your continued support. Appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon for those of you watching on the YouTubes. That's my timer. And of course, you can click on that to subscribe as well as to get notifications. That way you'll know when there's content here on the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.